A makeshift camp in Tijuana that was home to hundreds of migrants has been cleared out. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee. Members of the Mexican police, National Guard and Army evicted the migrants, most of whom are Central Americans and Mexicans. They had been at the makeshift camp for almost a year. Advocates and migrants are outraged, saying they did it in the middle of the night to avoid the public eye and media attention. CBS 8's Regina Urita has more on what's happened to the people that were living there. The Mexican government, in particular the local government, had promised that they were not going to evict or kick out these families from the encampment. And they did so in the worst possible way. Dulce Garcia from Border Angels is describing the nightmare migrant families lived in the past 24 hours. Before sunrise, over 300 migrant men and women and children were woken up by Mexican military carrying batons and riot shields who forcibly kicked these families out of their makeshift camp. Perpetuating this xenophobic narrative that they are dangerous. Migrants of the camp say the military treated them worse than criminals, while others say they were not even given the chance to pick up belongings, leaving behind valuables and perishables. Children were crying because they were scared. They were traumatized by this eviction. So imagine you're sleeping at four in the morning where you've been staying for months. El Chaparral camp began forming last year after the U.S. began to limit the flow of migrants in compliance with policies that force migrants to wait in Mexico for their immigration court hearing. Many of these migrants haven't even started an asylum claim yet. They essentially just wanted information about how to do that. According to Tijuana Mayor Montserrat Caballero, she said it was all about safety and that officers were not armed, except the government forced families out without providing resources. And to make matters even worse, migrants are not safe in a government-provided shelter, meaning they will end up on the streets once again. Immigration advocates don't just blame the Mexican government, but the U.S. as well, saying President Biden and his administration have contributed to the creation of these camps, as well as restrictive policies like Title 24 and MPP, making it difficult for asylum seekers. Uh, the Biden administration not only has continued to implement Trump's policies, there are two of them in particular, the application of the Title 42 order, which allows Border Patrol agents to expel migrants without due process rights. And then the MPP order, the Remain in Mexico program. For CBS 8, I'm Regina Urita.